The purpose of this video is to demonstrate the UC1 add-in for Link offering powered by Broadsoft. The add-in allows Link or Skype for business users to call parties outside of their Link domain. So let's take a look at how this, the client would react prior to having the add-in installed. So I'll go ahead and dial a number and I'll try to play, place a call to that number. And as you can see in here, the Skype for Business dialer pops up, but I'm unable to complete that call without the add-in enabled. So I have now enabled the add-in, and let's go ahead and place a phone call and see the difference with the add-in enabled. Before I place the call, though, let's note that my status is available in the Skype for Business client, and I've got the green checkbox saying that my status is available. So let me go ahead and place the phone call. the device is ringing in the background. I'll go ahead and answer that call. I'm going to mute so we don't get a lot of the feedback. And now I'm in a call. And as if you note up here, I am. It's, my status has changed to in a call and I get the red dot um, depicting that I am in a call. So now we can start looking at some of the business features that the add-in allows users to take advantage of. So if we click on the three bars over here, we can simply put the call on hold. Call is now on hold. I can unhold the call. I can also transfer the call. So let's take a look and see what that looks like. So I'm going to do a new. So I'm going to go down here and select new. And now I can transfer the call one of three ways. I can just do a blind transfer. I can do an attended transfer, um, just audio only, or I can do an attended transfer with video. So we're going to go ahead and look at the, the video transfer. So I'm going to go ahead and enter my extension, attended video call. So we can hear the Polycom phone ringing in the background. I'll go ahead and answer it and mute it before we get all the feedback. Now you can see both of my video cameras are working. I can make sure with a calling party that it's okay to transfer the call now, uh, make the introductions, and now I can go ahead and hit transfer. And the call has been transferred. I am now in another call, and I can go ahead and show you the next business feature. We can go ahead and do conference. So I can do a new conference. I can add another extension and go ahead and add that. Polycom phone is ringing. I'll answer it. Go ahead and <coughs> edit it right click. <coughs> Cut down on the feedback. And now we've got a, a three-way call going. So um, that's the conferencing capabilities there. I could conference more clients in if I needed to. So that's the conference feature. And the final feature that I'm going to point out is a call park. So I'll go ahead and get into the call park menu, and I'm going to go ahead and park the call on the Polycom phone. Put the extension in, and I'm going to park the call. Please dial the number where you want to. Your call has been parked. Thank you. You can see the system takes care of putting those DTM tones in. So now I've got the call parked on the Polycom phone. If nobody retrieves the phone, the call will come back to the, the person that parked the call. So we'll give it a minute here. I think the uh, I set the um, time for 30 seconds. So we'll give it a minute here, or a half a minute here, and we'll watch the call come back. So now the, the call's coming back in. I can go ahead and retrieve the call, and now I'm, I'm back onto the, the call with the original caller. So now I can go back in and I can go and park the call again. In the meantime, I've reached out to the user that I'm trying to get a hold of and they're waiting for the phone call now. So I can go and park it at their extension. I go ahead and park the call. Please dial the number where you want to park your call. Your call has been parked. Thank you. So now I can go into my Polycom phone, type the feature access code. To retrieve a parked call, Dial the number where the call was parked followed by pound, or dial pound to retrieve the call parked against your number. So I'm going to dial pound, and the parked call is retrieved, and now I no longer have the call control. So those are the features, um, the business class features that we allow with the add-in for Skype for Business. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video, and have a great day.